Welcome back to our beginner PPC masterclass series. Andy here again, the owner and founder of Ad Habit, an Amazon advertising agency helping brands scale their products on Amazon. In our last video, we uncovered the secrets of effective keyword research. Today, we're moving forward to ensure your listing is primed and ready to convert those clicks into sales. Get ready to optimize your product listing and maximize your PPC potential. So what I wanna show you in this video today is a couple of my favorite tools that we use inside of my agency to help optimize listing. This first one here is KD Boosted or Keyword Dominator. Now this is going to help us to optimize the SEO of your listing. And later in this video, we're gonna get into optimizing your conversion rate. I'm gonna show you two of our favorite tools. This here is the first one. So Keyword Dominator, a very affordable tool, one of my favorite tools on the market that allows you to have nice spreadsheets that pull in data from different resources. Now in the last video, I went over Helium 10, which is my favorite tool for Amazon research. Now in this tool, we're gonna take some of the Helium 10 documents and upload them into this software here and, and really maximize the SEO of each one of our listings. So as you see here, this is just going to be the settings page. You're gonna be able to input your area email, which is going to be easy to do once you get all signed up. And then you'll find some of your top competitors, which this tool does help you with. When you put in your main keyword here, you're simply gonna run choose the top 10 ASINs. It's gonna open up the Amazon search results for the stainless steel garlic press. You'll be able to copy and paste those listings into here. Now, Brett is a good friend of mine from FBA Excel. He's the owner of that. And he has some great YouTube videos. So check out FBA Excel on YouTube and he'll walk you through a little bit more in depth that I'm gonna do in this video. I just wanna show you the tools that we use, save you a lot of time from researching it yourself here. So I pulled in a lot of the ASINs from our last video where we were looking at stainless steel garlic press. So I pulled these ASINs in here. Once you do that, you wanna make sure you check all these boxes and then simple as can be, uh, you also wanna come through and check Helium 10 sources. So I'm gonna do Cerebro and then I'm gonna do two different X-ray tools. In the last video, I showed you X-ray. And then basically, when you click here, download new data, after you choose those top 10 ASINs, it's gonna open up a couple different options here, which I'll just quickly do in this video. So once you download that new data, what you're gonna see is these three different pop-ups. The first one is going to open up Amazon search results for stainless steel garlic press. I do wanna make sure you're using a US zip code if you are in the US for that. And then the next thing we're gonna do is open up that Helium 10 Chrome extension, open up X-Ray, and then all you have to simply do is export this. When you export it, you wanna make sure you're matching what it says here. The first one is going to be XR for X-Ray, and then the second one is gonna be XR2. So the second one here is gonna grab all those ASINs that you already put into it. So you open up X-Ray again, and then you're gonna export this, save that as XR2, make sure you're using capitalized letters. And then this one is gonna be Cerebro. You're gonna save that as CR, just like that settings page said here. So save that as CR. Once you save those into the, the folders that FBXL is going to set up inside of your Google Drive account, all you have to do you save all those and then you're going to import that data. And then once, you're, once it's all imported nice, you're gonna to go to Helium 10, add Cerebro keywords. Once that loads, you're gonna add the alpha ASINs. It's gonna really build out the entire tool for you. So let's jump over to the next step. This is going to give you a list of all those Helium 10 keywords. If you happen to use another tool like Zonguru or Jungle Scout, there's options for that in here as well. And if I close these tabs, you could see that. And you could also import data from Brain Analytics, your search query performance report. Uh, Magnet from Helium 10, Jungle, Jungle Scout, and Cellarize. But right now in this video, I just use Helium 10 because that's what I'm focusing on in this masterclass series. So you can see it's gonna pull in all those different keywords from those different downloads. And it's gonna show you by product. And these are all those alpha ASINs. And basically here, you're gonna be able to start clicking on the keywords that you wanna add to your list. Simple as that, you could add those keywords over and then it's going to pull in this listing wizard as well. And basically this is going to help you to build out that listing. Now that first ASIN that you put in here, you always wanna make sure that is your ASIN because that's what it's gonna pull up in this listing builder tool. So it's gonna walk through your title, make sure it's 200 characters. It's going to walk through your bullet points, your description, your, your backend search terms, which you will wanna manually input in here. Uh, and then there's some you know, backend stuff for your enhanced brand content and things like that that you could also manually add in here. And basically it's gonna give you the characters and then it's also gonna start to give you a score on each one of those. And it's gonna show you what each competitor has in those sections as well. 
uh, obviously not the backend search terms, but it will give you all these other ones. And then if you scroll down a little bit here and open up this drop down, it's going to start going through and showing you your different title search volume for the different products. You want to make sure yours is as high as possible. And you can see this product that I'm doing here that I picked for mine has a very good title score compared to everyone else. But it looks like there's some competitors that are doing a little bit better. So you want to make sure you're maximizing the SEO in that title. And you could do that by making sure you're grabbing the high search volume keywords to put them into your title, the bullet points. And then this tool is going to show you there's a one here for it's an exact in the title. If it's in broad in the title, it'll show it there as well. Um, and then you can see if it's in your back end search terms, if it's in the bullet points in your description, it's going to pop up and show that And you can see the source where it came from. And if you see this muscle here, that means that you're ranked number one on that keyword. So right here, it's going to pull in all the organic rank for all of those different products. And it's going to start to color code all of these for you as well. So scrolling through here, it's got that complete list of keywords. So you can make sure you filled out all the SEO as best as you possibly can to get that high score for your listing. And also there's the title score, there's the search volume, there's the bullet score as well there. And then you could really walk through and see what keywords are most important, by which one your competitors are also ranked for. And that's where it gives you some really nice bulk actions here to look at my top performers. I could look at a high potential. I could show all, I could look at keywords my competitors are possibly ranking on I might not be and that would be under competitor winners and there's some other FBA Excel tools that you can compare this with because uh, you can look at your PPC data how things are performing there which I'm not going to go over in this video but tons of different filters makes it very easy to build out the listing and FBA Excel has so many amazing tools to help you maximize your PPC maximize your Amazon performance and it's just one of my favorite tools on the market here so this is the one I quickly wanted to show up you could look at all the different competitors, their organic ranking, where they're ranking on the different keywords. It's going to pull in data from the keyword research. It's going to pull it in from your PPC performance. If you do have ad tactics um, connected and you pulled in reports for that, if you pulled in your search query performance reports, you could pull on that data, your brand analytics as well. Uh, some other rank lists, a bunch of different ways to do it in here. I just wanted to not make this video extremely long. So a very amazing tool for building out the SEO of your listing. So if you want a more in-depth tutorial on this, Brett has a bunch on his channel, or I can make you some the way I would build out a listing. So the next tool I want to jump over to is Data Dive. So Data Dive does a really good job. It's a little bit less hands-on. You don't have to upload a lot of reports, but I do prefer the keyword dominator to really maximize the list and be able to add as many keywords as I possibly want to. You can even add keywords manually in there. But what Data Dive can do, if you do a Data Dive on the product, like I've done in many of my videos, you could also go into the Listing Builder tool here in Data Dive, and that's going to look like this. So what you could do in this one is import your listing into here, and it's going to do a lot of the same. So you can click Pop, Populate, and I could pick, you know, whatever product I want. I think in the other one, I did this Zulu kitchen one. So let's pull this in here. So I pulled it in here and it's going to give you a score for this listing as well. It's going to tell you, make sure you filled out the, the title and it's going to do a lot of the same things where it is showing the main keywords. It's going to show the root keywords. It's going to show the main keywords. It's going to show you if it's in your title, your bullet points, your description. And it's also going to give you a score as well. You can see in this, it gave you a complete ranking juice score of your entire listing of 867,000. You can see some of these other sellers have a little bit better SEO built into theirs. And that's where you can start to go in here and optimize your title to maximize the SEO here, optimize the bullets, optimize the description, optimize your backend search terms and, and do tons and tons of different stuff. And then if you actually have this connected into your seller central account, you can actually upload your listing directly from here, which is a very cool feature as well. All right, and there's some other AI filters in here. I haven't been super impressed with a lot of the AI stuff yet. I still like to build things manually. Uh, but another amazing tool for building out the SEO of your listing. Now this one I think is a little bit higher price point than FBXL. It has a little bit less features, but FBXL you do need to use Helium 10 compared with it as well. So that one has Helium 10 and this one is a, a tool that's just on its own. All right, so once you're maximizing your SEO score, which I, I have made some other uh, other videos about building it out individually, but once you maximize the SEO score, now we want to actually go into the listing and, and start building out the conversion rate optimization, which is different than SEO. Conversion rate optimization is going to cover what the listing looks like. So this is that Zulu kitchen one that I 
brought in as an example. Now, very clean main image. They show you all the different color options that they have in here, which is a very good click-through rate optimization technique. Now, if you do have some trouble uploading these images, sometimes it takes a little bit of back and forth with Amazon. You might have to resubmit it a few times to add some of these extra features in here, but you can see the high quality of this image. And it's actually a real life image. A lot of them you'll see 3D renders, but you could tell this is a real life image, very clean. Um, you could give it a little bit of depth with the drop shadows that you use in, in that white background there, which is a, a great main image. Not the best in my opinion. Uh, it could be a little bit better. I do prefer 3D renders myself, uh, but let's get into some of the other images here. So they get right into really big font, makes it easy for people to read. They make lifestyle images with infographics. They talk about the different benefits and features. They show the length of it. They actually give a little bit of depth of it, showing how it looks in real life on a cutting board. Very high quality image there. They go into premium quality here. Uh, talk about all the different chamber holes, other benefits and features. This one gives a lot of depth. So they put like the multiple clove chambers and really clean lifestyle image as well crushes garlic in seconds now i don't know who built out their listing first but the next listing i do want to show you is very similar on what their main images look like uh, easy to watch they have 10 videos in here which is great and then you see they do have the best seller badge they have 22,000 reviews which do take time 4.6 stars you want to do whatever you possibly can to get those reviews five stars in the beginning that is going to really affect your conversion rate, especially if you're competing against sellers like this that have thousands and thousands of five-star reviews, all right? Their different variations are very easy to understand. They're just color variations. They built out the, the bullet points. They built out the title. Let's keep scrolling down. Now this is a Keepa chart, so I can see like when they're running lightning deals, what, what price point changes they have. And I also have the Helium 10 Chrome extension, so I can track their price, I can track their BSR over time and, and switch it back and forth. There's other features to jump into keywords, X-Ray, other stuff built into that, that Helium 10 Chrome extension there. And then th this is the from the brand story. I do like that they built out a very nice lifestyle image here, showing I believe this must be the family of the products, which is really great to see. As I'm scrolling through, they have the, the nice brand story here. Visit their storefront. You get a link to the storefront. You can see all their different products. Amazing here. Really good work based on what they did. And you can see all those main images in the high quality there. They have the heavy duty metal, lifetime warranty, durable stainless steel, like all these extra features that really increase their click through rate. So this brand does an amazing job. And the one difference you'll notice with this listing versus the other listing is they've built out premium A plus content, which you'll notice is a lot wider than the other ones and gives just a more premium look. And that that's why it's called premium, right? Gives you that premium look. As you scroll through, you still get that really nice lifestyle images mixed in with the infographics, not too you know crowded with a bunch of stuff. We just got very, a very premium look. They really get into the benefits and features that people are looking for when they buy this product and just very, very high quality. So they did a really good job. The one thing I would add is a comparison chart to the bottom to get some you know, cross links to your other main products that really helps to get some uh, cross sales between them as well. And then they got all these videos in here so I don't see any competitors videos. So amazing work there. You scroll through and you wanna make sure you're running defensive ads too because we don't want competitors videos or competitors ads running against ours. So you wanna make sure you're running those defensive ads to kick as many of those competitors off as you can. And then amazing reviews, amazing work Zulu Kitchen if you are watching this. And then what we'll do is we'll jump into the next listing here. This is Alpha Grillers. I do believe they've done an amazing job as well. Really clean main image. This looks like a 3D rendering to me. Um, it might not be, but I do believe it is, but it looks very, very good still, right? It's almost hard to tell if it's a 3D rendering or regular, but I do believe it's a 3D rendering, but very high quality one, right? You can see a lot of the same thing. They get the brush. They also got the box in the background, with really good branding. They go over Alpha Grillers, Garlic Press, and Peeler Set. Looks very good. We And I, if you watch some of my other videos, I've showcased this listing a couple times, but I do believe they did a better job with their images than the Zulu Kitchen one. It just, I think it's the branding for me that really sticks out a lot more. Uh, really nice branding. They, they put the, they gave it some depth by putting the logo behind. They got the text behind here. They're using a flat surface, so they really got the depth of the image, and they're very consistent with their branding throughout. Another great one here, 
showing a little bit of social proof is the as seen on there they talk about the different benefits and features another one here they even got the reflection of the keyword in here which even just looks even more premium consistent with the branding once again very good images they have a lot of the same ones as zulu kitchen multi clove chamber crushes in seconds uh, I think they just do a better job with their branding. Makes a great gift. And then they got six videos in here. They got the Amazon Choice Badge, 14,000 reviews. They've done a good job filling out their title, their bullet points. Um, you can see they've been running some lightning deals. They've messed around with their price point a little bit. Looks like lately their BSR is up. So, which is, you know, let's see the date range. You can see right here in February, they were doing a lot better when they run the, ran those lightning deals. And it looks like lately BSR is a little bit up. So their sales have dropped a little bit there. And we still wanna make sure we're running defensive ads as well. I don't see a lot of their other products here. I can see more competitors here. Uh, and then you, you can see the difference with the A plus content. They don't have the premium A plus content, so it's not as wide. So I do recommend you get the premium A plus content. Once you add the brand story and do a couple other things, you can qualify for that. And it is a very nice feature to add, All right? So it, you can see they did a great job above, but this doesn't hit quite as well as what above does, but they do have the comparison chart. But I do think they're leaving money on the table with not having the premium A plus content. Now, what I do think they did an amazing job of is building out the from the brand section. Now they have the really nice flame grilled to perfection. They got their logo here and they got the featured in, which gives a lot more social proof to it. Now, I don't know which one will, will perform the best as far as, you know, a really nice infographic. This works really good. Maybe the lifestyle image works better. What I would do is run a split test to really test out those different ways to do it. And in that lifestyle image on the other one, I don't know for sure if this is, if that's the Zulu kitchen family or if it's just, you know, um, an image, I do believe it is the Zulu kitchen owners, but it doesn't tell me that. Um, so I would also put that in that, in that other A plus content there. So once again, they have a lot of great videos here, which is amazing. And then you can see still, I don't see a lot of their own products. Like we see Zulu kitchen pops up here with one of their other listings, or maybe they're running a split test there. Cause I did not see that in the other one. So it's possible that they're running a split test with that main image. Actually, no, this is a completely different listing, right? It's a lower price point, lower reviews, but amazing work anyways. And then we can see there's not a lot of other alpha griller products. We see Zulu kitchen popping up here again, and you want to make sure you're running those defensive ads for sponsored products, sponsored brand and sponsored display to kick those competitors off. Zulu kitchen is doing a good job of running the video ads against alpha grillers here. And then once again, amazing reviews, 4.5 out of five stars. So to close this out today, just build the best possible listing. I know it can be expensive in, in some parts too to hire a really good graphic designer. If you want a recommendation on a good graphic designer, please let me know. And I also know a really good photographer that has some great prices to build out some of these amazing images like you see here. That just really increases the conversion rate of your listing when you get started because when you get started you're not going to have a ton of reviews now if you're already selling a while and you may not be ranking at the top of the pages but you have a, a ton of great reviews it might be your listing optimization that just needs revamp to really increase that conversion rate now if you go from a conversion rate 10 percent conversion rate 20 percent literally your sales will double without any extra ad spend with ppc now so many of my clients think ppc is going to fix all the problems while the conversion rate is the main issue. Once they fix the conversion rate, their business really just takes off. So ask questions, put them in the comments below. Happy to book a call and, and kind of go over your listing or send it in. I could do a live listing review of the product or just do a private one and send it over to you as well. Whatever you'd like, happy to do it. So congratulations on taking another step forward in mastering PPC, mastering your Amazon success, ensuring your listing is optimized, is vital for driving conversions and maximizing your PPC investment. In our next video, we'll dive deep into launching your PPC campaigns effectively. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and stay updated on our masterclass series. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.